share with you my first ever purchase that I bought maybe two years ago. It's the very start of our baby stash. Hey guys, uh, so it's been a while, but today I have made the decision to upgrade Pablo's fish tank and I already started. I still have to add some more water. But yeah, I'm gonna keep adding water. It's kind of crazy the way I have to add it because it's all the way over here. So <laughs> I'm taking jug at a time and filling it like that from the top. One jug. I just leave one going, filling up, while I bring it over and pour this in. And go back and treat them out. And I just keep doing it until it's full. Back and forth like 50 times. Alright, so I got it set up. Um, this isn't where it's always going to be. It's just a temporary spot until uh, we get a table for this specifically. But yeah, I'm going to give it a little while to so the water conditions properly. And then I'm going to put Pablo in his new home and see if he likes it. Okay, so I waited for the water to stabilize and it looks pretty good. I uh, already put Pablo in there. There's one problem though, he's kind of obsessed with the filter, like he keeps attacking it for some reason. I, I don't know, I think it's because it's humming. Maybe he'll just have to get used to it. He hasn't had a filter since we got him, so probably just confused at what it is and yeah other than that everything else it looks pretty good in there oh yeah we also need a background to cover up these cords on the back um, they don't look so great so we'll go out and get a background sometime next week yeah overall I'm pretty happy with it though hey so since I've been home so much, I kind of took over the whole cooking job, which is fine with me. I'm not really doing anything else. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm making Rachel some dinner right now. I'm making her a chicken flatbread sort of thing. It's pretty easy to do. You just cut up your uh, red pepper, you're supposed to use fennel, but I'm using celery. It's fine. It tastes just as good. And then, bits of chicken. Fry it up in a pan until it's nice and soft. The vegetables. And then, uh, show you the next step after. Yeah, so, everything's pretty much cooked on here. All you gotta do now is, I got here, uh, my pita. It's just like, normal. Pita, a lot of bacon sheet. Just put it all on top evenly. Even it out on top. And then uh, add a bit of cheese in here. Sprinkle the cheese on the top. It's almost like a pizza. Which is awesome. Yeah, and then that's what it'll look like before it goes in the oven. Obviously, and then 500 degrees. And then when I pop it in, just cook it for like 10 or 15 minutes until uh, the cheese melts and browns. 
Okay, so it's been in there for like 15 minutes. Let's pull this thing out. See how she looks. Looks pretty good from here. There you have it. Dinner is ready. Just gonna cut it up into uh, four pieces. Wait for Rachel to come home. Also made her some little popcorn mix. It's like a cheesy popcorn, kind of dessert sort of thing. And that's about it. Look who just got home. Hurry up and eat it. Feed me. Eat it. Eat it. I need to take off my it. jacket. It looks delicious. It. What'd you get? I got some face face wipes. Oh, that's These are exciting. my faves. Wow. They're nice and gentle and they tone. And I got some conditioner. Hmm. Usually use the Filipino conditioner brand. What's in those boxes? They're nothing. What it's is nothing. that? Nothing. Nothing! Nothing! Oh yeah, baby. Just what I needed. Let's check out this tank. Again. Looks good, babe. He's still at that filter. Can we get like a tropical background? Yeah. He stopped for a little while attacking it and then now he's back at it again. Was he freaking out? No. He's just. I think it's because he's humming. I don't know. He tries to attack it. And then how do you feed him? We'll just give him like a Open few days. Open it up here? Well, yeah, feed him through there. Wow, so we this never hole? have to clean it ever again? Uh, I think like. You do have to clean it. Oh, oh, what like happened? Every little while. Ah. Yeah, you suck. I broke it. Why is it like that? Why doesn't it just like lift open? Ta da! Yeah, but when it lift, when you lift it open. Because you, you can take it right off. It's not on a hinge. Oh, it should be. Did you get new stuff for it? No. That blue one looks new. No. And that tiki head looks new. That tiki head's from one of our trips. No way. It is. Which trip? I don't know. I found it upstairs in the spare bedroom. No, I think it's your mom's. Oh, well thanks mom. I don't know. I think you brought it from your old house. That's not from our trip. Looks like something my mom would have. Yeah. That'd be cool if that like volcano there like blew bubbles like in Nemo. Well, it can. It's also, it was actually meant to be a filter, but... Uh, yeah. This is how the habit starts, when or I guess the hobby. Sooner or later, I'm gonna get like. I bet a you big in like piece. five years, you're gonna have like a huge saltwater fish tank. Yeah. With like everything in it, and it's gonna cost like $20,000. 20000 That's an expensive hobby. I'm gonna have $5,000. Okay, I'm gonna eat. So Colin's been amazing this week and meal planning and meal prepping for me. So he's got a pita flatbread. Well, I guess he already explained when he was cooking it. I had it for my first time yesterday. So yummy and really filling. Pretty healthy. Thanks, babe. How about this? The pat cream. I get to choose a meal and a snack. And this week, my snack. It's so. It looks so like small. It looks so pathetic. My little bowl of popcorn. <laughs> That's what it says. It's only one cup, but That's what it says it's really recipe. good. It's like salt and pepper and a little bit of Parmesan. Yeah, should I have But I only get one cup. Keep I'll save it. I'm gonna save it for pizza. later. Don't stop eating my popcorn. I only get one cup. Give me a bite of that pita. All right, so I'm doing my workout today. One of my warm-ups. I was going to do 20 minutes on the elliptical, but it's so nice and sunny out that I decided to do a little bike ride. So I'm just here in this undeveloped little subdivision doing some laps on my bike. I was watching the game and it's a nice day for a bike ride today. Okay guys, so we got some 
news today that I wanted to share with you. Um, as you know, I had a surgery in Vancouver to remove some polyps from my uterus. Um, and they said that they would call me in two weeks to give me my pathology report and tell me if I had hyperplasia or not. Um, the hyperplasia could delay the um, IVF process um, because we would need to get that under control before we transferred any embryos. So we discussed the possibility of maybe starting IVF um, and getting as far as freezing the embryos and then um, once the hyperplasia would be under control then we could transfer the embryos. Um, but she called me today and said my pathology report was all clear and I did not have any hyperplasia and um, if everything worked out with the um, first couple steps of the IVF that we would be good to go for a fresh transfer so that was really exciting Colin and I were actually very shocked not that we were being negative it's just that you know um, the way that my uterus has been in the past that we were very we were really expecting for me to have hyperplasia but I'm very thankful that I did it and it was just some really great news right now so um, in two weeks we're going to Vancouver for our orientation. Finally, we confirmed, we book our flights, um, and we'll be um, getting to plan out the dates of everything as well as um, talk about our meds and everything like that. So I thought this was a perfect time to share with you guys our little baby haul. Um, some of it is a gift, and then one item was the one thing I've ever bought uh, from for our baby. Sorry, ran out of memory there, so. Um, I want to show you guys some things that we got um, as a baby gift from Colin's mom Wanda and it was just a nice little start to our baby stash. So let me know in the comments below if you guys started a baby stash, what were your first couple items. Um, if, you, if you have little baby now after TTC, um, what items do you love on them and what items are your favorites. So first one is this really pretty swaddling blanket set or receiving blanket set. So there's six blankets and they're in like a neutral white and gray palette. The brand is Piccola Bambino and I think she got this from the Bay. I'm not too sure, but it's white and gray neutral theme. One is a solid gray, one has little raccoons. One is white with like a gray kind of swirly print. And I think there's two of each, so that's a really nice set. I don't want to take them out because the packaging is so pretty, but that is really sweet. Second little piece are, of course, baby socks. These are so cute. They smile every time like I see these. These are zero to six months. Who doesn't love little baby socks? Um, as Those are from Children's Place, as well as these are from Children's Place. This is a little onesie set, 9 to 12 months, a 5 pack. This one is cute. It says Daddy, Mommy, and Me with little ducklings. And just a plain gray one. Uh, a white one with gray stripes that, is a, that are stars and they say, I love my mom, I love my family, I love my dad. And then this one is just white with yellow ducklings and then this one white with gray polka dots and a star that says I love my dad or I love my family and I think that's just so cute and when I first pulled it out of the package and I saw it I was like oh my god our baby's gonna be wearing these little onesies and that was just like a really nice thought and I'll share with you my first ever purchase that I bought maybe two years ago is the very start of our baby stash which consists of four things um, but I just really love this and I think it's pretty neutral it's a just a little hat it's from Bon Bon Apparel which is a local Vancouver company it's organic cotton and I don't know I just like the design and I thought it would be cute for a boy or girl I got this from Indigo um, as well as they sell if you're from Vancouver they sell at um, the cross and you can find them at thecrossdesign.com and uh, yeah, this is the first little baby item that we got. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Probably our stash will be growing sooner as we come closer to the date. 
um, of our treatments. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know where we are at. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are following on the journey and thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we really appreciate your comments and letting us know what else you guys would like to see. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a good night, guys. Hey, no, no, no.